We're talking Super Bowl props all week when it comes to big game breakdown on Wager Talk today. Yesterday, we talked about, as you mentioned, Steve, the shortest touchdown of the game under one and a half yards. Today, we're going to talk about the longest touchdown of the game. Now, in many years, you see this prop in the 47 and a half, 48 and a half yard range. I'm seeing it 40 and a half yards, 41 and a half yards this year, which is already telling us something. How do I expect the game to play out? Talked about it yesterday. I see longer, slower, methodical drives. The Chiefs spent the whole year doing exactly that. They have third and nine, they get 10. <laughs> That's what Kansas City has done. The Niners had more big plays than KC, but they too, very comfortable playing a slower paced, long drive style. These are two top tier defenses. You're not moving the ball up and down the field all day. There will be punts. There will be field goals. So in a low possession game, two defenses that don't give up big plays, two offenses that are comfortable grinding yards, clock, and first downs. We could get a big play TD here. Okay, there's a reason this prop isn't juiced to high heaven. All right, you can get an interception return, a fumble return, a kick return, a punt return. They're all fairly random, not necessarily something I would be able to handicap ahead of time. But I'm not expecting any of that. <laughs> all right, nor am I expecting a 40-plus yard big play touchdown for either side, not against these two defenses. The under has cashed this prop four times in the last five years. I expect it to cash again on Super Bowl Sunday. Longest touchdown of the game, under 40 and a half, 41 and a half. It's best to shop around. You'd hate to get hooked on that one. Nonetheless, the concept is there. Longest TD, under the yardage.